I'm Myron Selling. I farm with my father and brother. We run about 1,350 acres of corn and soybeans. Uh, we're raising non-GMO corn. We are growing Roundup Ready soybeans currently. Uh, we are a no-till operation, uh, have been since the mid-90s, and currently uh, doing fall seeded cover crops. Our first good year of cover crops, which would have been 2014, uh, when we drilled the rye in the fall. It was probably 18 inches tall that year when we planted. The way our planter was set up, we set it up to no-till. When I went to plant green, I made no changes at all, just went right in and did it. We planted some 100% green, meaning we sprayed the rye after we planted. Since we are non-GMO corn, we do not have good grass killing options for once that corn emerges. So we did need to spray before the corn was up and the rye that was damaged by our row cleaners and gauge wheels, uh, some of that did not take up the glyphosate and die. We probably had about 5% of it make it through um, it did not affect our yields, but it, it didn't look the best. We also had terminated some ahead of planting in a few days, and we did not like the results of that either. Um, once that cover crop turned brown or rank, it wanted to wrap more on our row cleaners or closing wheels. So what we've found has worked really well for us is we spray roughly 24 hours to maybe 36 hours ahead of planting. Um, so we get the glyphosate into the crop, but it's still green and it still stays together. We have no wrapping problems that way. Um, it, so we time spraying as close as we can to planting on corn. On the soybeans, uh, we have no issues killing grasses and soybeans. Uh, so we will plant all the soybeans, let things recover for probably a week, and then go out and spray um, our first pass on the soybeans. We have been very happy and are going to continue to try and plant green and have cover crops on our acres.